Hello guys, welcome to another Let's Play Dark Souls 2 video and we are pretty much exactly the same spot where we stopped recording last episode and uh, we've got a lot of stuff to to explore here and we are going to do just that and there is an alarming amount of blood stains around here but I'm going to assume that is people fighting the uh, uh, the Winterbro character, whatever you want to call that big tired knight. He doesn't seem very unhappy or angry, that knight dude. He just kind of looks a bit tired. This guy looks tired too. I don't know what happened there. He's he's kind of... I'm going to guess he's very dead. I don't suppose we could get in here. No, quite possibly not. Ah, oh, we look at that stuff. Common fruit? <laughs> okay. Uh, well, why not? Let's have a bit of a look at what that might be, if I can find it. Oh, temporarily boost poison resist. Now that is something I could pretty much use in the poisonous mines, actually. But I'm going to have to be needing more than than two. I just thought I heard something. Is he petrified or just... No, he's just kind of dead. Rigor mortis, I suppose. Um... Oh, a lift and a blood stain. That is <laughs> goes hand in hand pretty much. Pointless ahead. Well, I'm going to guess maybe there's a secret around here or maybe not. No. Sure are a lot of prison cells around here. Uh, I'm gonna have to say... Oop! What was that? Oh, I missed that. Sorry, I pressed X while I was busy looking for secrets, but hopefully that wasn't something terribly useful. Let's pull this lever and see if we can get the lift to come up. Oh yeah, and I just remember there's an item that we need to pick up over at the lift where you go down to fight the uh, the last sinner. We did not pick that up. Now, what a, what a really nice and comfy lift. I mean, it looks like a portable prison cell. And I'm being an idiot because I just kind of run in there and assume I'm not going to die horribly in here. But let's just hope this is some sort of ordinary lift. Alright, some sort of cave. Hole in short hidden path ahead. Oh yeah? Yeah, well, we can look for secrets later. I'm not going to bore you with pressing X on every freaking wall in the entire universe. Because that can get pretty old pretty quickly. Tight spot. Yeah, that is very true. Very true indeed. Be wary of slip up. In short, not here. Good luck. Right. Uh... Okay. I'm gonna say this is the boat that's in um, No Man's Wharf, right? I think so, but I can't actually board it for some reason. Um, maybe I'm gonna have to go from No Man's Wharf to be able to board from this point. I'm not sure. But that is another thing we need to do, another thing that I kind of forgot about. I, s I know I said that I should 
or would check out the uh, the boat because there was a way out of it and I haven't done that yet there's just so many things oh that looks pretty cool uh, so many things to do but I'm gonna assume that we can't move uh, on any further here so we're just gonna go back up all right let's run back to where we came there's a couple of things we need to check Ah, it looks pretty cool, this too. Really nice. And we're also going to have to try and find a key. There's several locked doors in uh, this area that I haven't been able to access. Even at the boss fight, there was a whole bunch of doors that I couldn't open. Well, I think like two, but or maybe four, all in all. But uh, I'm kind of curious about that. And I have no idea where that key might be. Well, we are going to fall down here and hopefully not face a horrible destiny. I don't really like the looks of this, but we're going to be fine. We're going to check the blood stain here and see what this dude does. Oh, he kind of gets curious about the uh, that window or door. No, it's a window, I think. There's no way to access it, I'm thinking. So let's not try that. Let's just move on and hopefully find something terribly useful. Soul of a brave warrior, human effigy. Well, that's not too bad. That's totally worth going down there, actually. Illusory wall. Well, I don't know. If you hadn't put a bloody message there, then maybe I could no, I'm going to guess this is just bull crap. So we're going to head back. And there's another item we are going to try to get uh, up on that... Uh, what do you call it? Scaffold? I suppose. Oh, you guys are st yeah back alive. That is unfortunate. And why are you not... Come on. Why are you not changing weapon when I'm pressing the button? Yeah. You stagger your ass into next week. And your toast as well. Please don't jump. Please just stand still and this won't hurt a bit. Now, how do I get back up there? That is the question, isn't it? Maybe I should just go back to a bonfire. And kinda teleport back. I'm kinda thinking that I should. Because this way is just gonna take forever. Oh, really? Didn't I hit you twice there? Oh, really? Okay. Oh. Come on, game! I'm hitting these guys! Why are you being so difficult? And I'm guessing this door is still... So we're gonna go back and I'll see you over at the... where we dropped down on the scaffold. Pretty much. I'm gonna have to go back. It's gonna take a, take a while, I think, to run back. So see you there. And guys, come to think of it, while we are here, we are actually going to go and pick up that item that I was talking about. That was near the lift. And we're just going to kind of run over. Oh, no, we're not. I forgot the lift is not up. It's down. So we're going to have to kill these guys. I'm thinking is an excellent plan. Shouldn't be too hard. There's only two of them left, I think. Unless, of course, I fall down that hole in the middle, which I'm going to try my damnedest not to. Oh, I was out of stamina there. That was bad. And by the way, I think I just picked up the sword that these guys are using. Royal Greatsword. What are you doing? Uh, uh, Alright, maybe I should give you some privacy. Yeah, let's, uh, let's do that. 
The Royal Great Sword, and I have absolutely no idea if that is any good or if I indeed have picked it up before. No, I haven't. I've only got one. Damage 187. Don't know if that is particularly good. Maybe it is. I don't really know. I just thought I'd mention that. So we have an item up here that we're going to get. We're just going to fall off the lift before we go through here. Like that. And I can't remember what this is. Lesser rating knife times five. So this is throwing knives that, uh, you know, perform bleed, basically. But only five of them. So, yeah, that's kind of cheap. But we're going to go back to where I talked about before, the scaffold thing. So see you over there. Right. Uh, I'm just going to have a bit of a check so these annoying farting guys aren't following me. Which, of course, they are. No, 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 no farting in my general direction. Thank you very much. And we are going to try and go over... Whoops, uh, that was kind of close. Uh, I think it was over here. Yeah, we can fall down there. But I'm kind of curious about this as well. I have... I can hear... Uh, yeah, I think this is a place we've already been at. So I'm not going to fall down here. Yeah. Eh, I'm pretty... Yeah, I'm very certain that this is the, the room. Kind of, if we go left, we are going to end up in the room where we came from. So let's not waste time doing that. Instead, we're going to try very hard falling down here. And given my cautious nature, I am gonna... Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna equip the <laughs> uh, the cat ring, the silver cat ring again, because... Uh, yeah. Because it's a good idea, alright? Now, if I just could see something... Alright, that worked pretty well. Alluring skull... Really? Come on! <laughs> That's it? All right, that was totally not worth it. And guys, go screw yourself. I can't be bothered dealing with you guys again. Bugger off. Now, where to go now? Uh, there's so much stuff. Um, I'm going to go over to a bonfire, at least. That much I know, and we'll see what I come up with. So see you over wherever it might be. I decided to go to the servants' quarters bonfire because we have something down here, as you may remember. Oh, hang on. I'm just going to see if I can... Yeah, check this out. This is pretty interesting. You can get these things to spin around pretty, <laughs> pretty quickly. I even had this thing pushing me around. If I can mess around with it a bit. Ah, all right. It just went mental. Yeah, it kind of pushes me <laughs> back. It's kind of interesting. But completely pointless, of course. I just wanted to see if that would happen again. Yeah, that's a magic barrel or magic... Oops, yeah, whatever. It's not a barrel. What's it called? A bucket. A magic bucket. Anyway, that's not why we came over here. We came over here because I did actually try to use the pharaohs... Oh, shit. What about you? I'm terribly sorry. Um... I did use my oh, one pharaoh's lockstone with my other character and something quite interesting happened. Something quite interesting indeed. Let's see, where are we? There we are. I can actually open up this section of the wall and we have a different area here. And this is a place where pretty much invasions are guaranteed. So I'm going to just remove my cat ring and kind of equip my... Ring of Restoration, I suppose. So most likely there's going to be deaths ahead and it's going to be me dying horribly over and over again because this place, the Belfry Luna, is very much about invasions. I just kind of went in it and just kind of had a look around and then wham, I was invaded twice in a row. I couldn't even collect myself, I think. But we're going to have a chat with this little mental midget here. I'm not sure what he is. He's pretty loud. And we're invaded. Let's have our belt. Right, belt. Okay. 
The bell belongs to the princess, it do. Stay back and we slice, slice you to bits. Me and my chums, we shall be met. Stay back all your pieces. Time is pieces. <laughs> this guy has a bit of a mental problem. Some slight mental issues. A long, long, long time ago, the princess, she made me. Yes, just like so. To guard this bell for the prince's honor. Stay away, foul and dead, or you'll be a goner. <laughs> Alright, we are invaded by Grey Spirit Crafty J. Let's see if I can be uh, pyromancy to death, pretty much. I think they spawn from up here. Here we are! Hello! No? Not interested in uh, greeting me back? No. I don't know what he's... What he's up to? Well, let's see what he's got. No, I'm not going to fight you up there because, you know, no. Because I know that there's uh, some other enemies up there and I don't want to fight you up there, so you're going to have to come down here, my dear friend. And fight. Yep. Hello. Come on and fight. Like a man. Come on. Ah, oh, come on. Don't do that. You're gonna be a little yellow belly coward. Come on, fight me here. Or don't fight me at all. Oh, come on. Just fight me. No, no, sorry, Bob. It's not gonna happen, dude. Nope. Ah, oh, really, another invader? This is going to be interesting. Oh yeah, I was poisoned. I didn't even realize that that was so quick. Yeah, as I said, there's plenty of invaders here. I actually thought for a while there that I was playing Dark Souls 1 and I thought, oh, poisoning is no problem here. It is. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah and yeah there's I don't know if there's a cooldown time uh, for the invasions because I got invaded really quickly after the uh, the first invasion like I had hardly time to collect my souls let's see if it's if the fog gate comes back up because it's almost annoying it's like instant or maybe not. Maybe there is a cooldown after two invasions because after the second invasion I actually had a bit of a respite so I could actually kind of chillax a bit. But I haven't gone much further than up the staircase and I met this little angry individual here and uh, I'm not sure if he's he's gonna come down, yeah. Just gonna check if I'm invaded, no. Hey there, angry little man. It's not particularly hard, apparently. Alright. Let's see if we can quickly run up here before we get invaded again. I'm pretty sure that's going to happen pretty quickly. Uh, there's holes in the freaking floor. Skeptic spines. I do not remember what that is. It's a consumable of some sort, I believe. And there's another one of these angry individuals protecting the bell I assume and we can actually join this covenant and help protect the bell for some reason oh hi I didn't see you over there I 
now. I believe we are being invaded again, right? Yeah, I think we are. Jeez. See what is up here. Maybe we can find the bell everyone is talking about. Oh, guys, hey! They are small, but they are very, very angry. Oh, wow. Didn't I kill you there? I'm pretty sure I did, but apparently not. I don't suppose I can perform a critical on you guys. Here we go. And there's more of you guys. I'm wondering, do I ever get any bleed with this falchion? I mean, I, I'm not sure. It seems like I'm not getting that. Or maybe I do. Maybe there's just no indication of it. I'm not sure. See if there's more angry small men around. Apparently not. Skeptic spies. And we're going to check this chest. Ah, it's fine. No trap. Radiant Life Gem and Twilight Herb. That is nice indeed. And we have a lever of sorts here. I'm not sure what that does. Let's try and pull it, shall we? Oh, there's the bell. <laughs> I didn't see it. <laughs> and that does what now? I've got no idea. Oh, I hear something. I hear something. I have no idea what that was. Maybe that was the... Oh, hang on, that's the gate below, I'm pretty sure, right? There was a gate and a fog gate. Yeah, all right. So that maybe that didn't mean that we were invaded that just kind of meant that there was a fog oh shit fog gate there yeah we can just well go through here why not oh yeah I'm dead now right because I did die from that invader so oh yeah that's annoying <laughs> that is quite annoying oh Belfry gargoyle more than one? Well, we, we're going to find out soon enough, aren't we? Yeah, there's more than one. I kind of thought as much. This is the same music that was in uh, Dark Souls 1, I think. <laughs> oh, shit. Roll! Damn you, roll! And I'm going to assume that's going to be more than one, right? I'm just guessing there's going to be like 15 of these guys. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just gonna do some healing here. Oh shit. Crap. Take it easy guys, take it easy. Oop. Oops, uh, that was bad. Maybe I should try and... Uh, oh yeah, there's more of those guys. I kinda knew it. This is gonna be a ginormous clusterfuck. This is gonna be about damage per minute I suppose and how quickly you can get rid of these guys no 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 this could quickly become interesting do I have any anything I can throw at these guys I think I do actually oh fuck me I can never roll out of the way there <laughs> oh god and let me guess it's gonna be more more of these guys right Do I have anything else? No, I don't really. I was pretty badly prepared for this fight. I didn't quite expect a boss fight. But of course, the game always tries to mess with you, so yeah. Well, it's not going too bad. I'm just going to hope that there's... Oh, Jesus. It's not going to be any more... 
gargoyles for a while and ah, oh, what the hell? Oh, what the frick? Ah, oh, I hate the control set. I don't know why it keeps screwing me. I tried to switch to my bow, but that didn't work very well, now, did it? Oh, yeah, you got me, mate. Still only three, right? It should be fine if I just take my time. And hopefully I don't run out of hard drive space recording this. Oh, that was stupid of me. Oh, really? You reached me there? That was... Too bad. Form a bit of a heal here. I used my Radiant Life Gem because I really would like to get these guys. I heard something. It sounded like it didn't come from the... Uh... Oh shit, is there another one? Oh fuck me, there's four of them now. I think maybe there is four of them, right? Can't even see it, it's just a complete mess of wings and shit. Yeah, I think there's four. I uh, can't even see which one I should attack because there's just a complete mess of wings and shit. No, 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 no. I'm gonna have to hurry up a bit. I would like to kill one of you guys and just kind of get rid of some of you would be so fucking great. And who of you guys are most damaged? I think you. Maybe I should try and focus my attention on this guy. We could just be allowed to do that. He's just kind of interested in kind of running away from you. You should be toast soon enough, dude. Oh, shit. It's kind of hard to predict where the attack is going to come from because there's so many of them, Jesus! Alright, I got you, that was kind of worth it, mate. That was kind of worth it. Totally going to heal again. And we are going to try and locate the next one that's damaged or hurt. Maybe that, yeah, could be that guy, maybe. Please land. Oh, really? I'm not doing nearly enough damage here. It's just taking forever. Can't take all they presume. Because I'm, I'm going to guess that there's going to be... Like, more gargoyles coming after me. This is going to be... Crap. I'm going to guess. Maybe I'm just going to try and... Try and fire. Not doing nearly enough damage. So little damage. It's really annoying. Ah, oh, this is going to take forever. Oh, come on. Don't fry me. Don't fry me. I know you call bell fry and all that, but. And there's another one coming for me. This is great. This is great. This is going to take forever, right? This is going to take about a week. Ever so slowly. Oh, I can't read their attacks at all. I've no idea what to expect, really. This guy is kind of hurt. Maybe I should try and attack him a bit. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Nothing like that, please. No lightning attacks, because that's just... 
and that guy is just completely full health. Uh. Stop using fire! Please. Oh, that guy is gonna be toast. He's gonna be dead! So am I. Oh shit! Oh no! What? Oh, I thought it was a special attack, that, but it wasn't. I'm still alive. I'm still alive. I'm fine. I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine, and I'm taking my sweet time. I wish my Ring of Restoration would be a tad faster, maybe. Ah, shit. I was afraid of that. Right. Oh, those fire attacks really freaking annoy me. <laughs> you know what? Ah, oh, damn, damn, damn. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, shit! I'm gonna use a life gem. I thought I had more radiant life gems, but apparently I didn't. I'm gonna have to use an ordinary life gem, which is not as fancy, but it's gonna do. It's gonna have to make do, though. Ah, stop with the fire attacks. It's getting, uh, extremely old. Ah, shit. Going decently, I have to say. They just stop performing their freaking fire attack. Would be no, stop doing that. <laughs> You're such a dick. You know that. You's yeah, all right, that's fine. Oh, my falchion is at risk. That is amazingly annoying. Weapons break so damn easily in this game. Should be alright, and hopefully my weapon will last enough to kill this guy. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to kill him with my bow, which I think is gonna be fine. If you just maybe. Yeah, alright. If you're going to insist on doing your fire attack, I'm going to shoot you in the face, all right? Now, that was fairly... Well, maybe I shouldn't say intense. It was... slow. And yet, at the same time, intense. <laughs> that was a pretty easy fight, though. Although I did waste all my Radiant Life chance. And I'm actually going to say, once I pick up this item over here... Soul of a Pro Knight, all right. Uh, I'm going to say thank you for watching because I think I've been spending a lot of time with this boss, like uh, maybe about three hours or something. <laughs> and, and I'm hoping you enjoy the video and I will see you in the next one. And don't forget to do all that stuff. You know what I'm talking about. All right, bye.